What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video and with Stellar Blades demo releasing and the game vastly approaching release date, people are getting hyped. People are very interested and people love the fact that they are going to get this game. It it is obviously a very beautiful game with very wonderful, uh, amazing assets that people are extremely hyped for. I'm happy you're hyped for. I'm happy you guys are getting it. And you know what? Fans across the internet have been ranting and raving about how much they are ready for this game. But it, it, we don't, we're not allowed to have good things though, because we're not allowed to have pretty things. Because come over here from Fandom Wire, fans defend Stellar Blade director Hugo Tai Kim after controversy around Eve's body that is based on Korean model Shin Jai Un. Now, she is obviously a beautiful individual. Eve, yes. Eve is based off of a actual living Korean model. She is the both model and Eve are wonderful, beautiful individuals, but it gets even more ridiculous because they're not just defending, you know, the, the game from anybody. They're not just defending the game from any random individual. They're defending it from IGN. So at IGN calls Stellar Blade protagonist a sexualized doll and says the creator has never seen a living woman. That's right, but when you actually read all this, success is not new and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters, but where a Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design, or a 2B from Nier Automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers, Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland. A doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a real woman. And then you come over here to the actual model being prepped to be created for Eve, the actual Eve model. Oh gosh, this is a beautiful video. This is a beautiful picture. There's an actual video of the model taking these pictures as they scan her to put her into the actual game itself. And then here's his wife. Here's the director's wife who assisted on the game. Man, he's surrounded by beautiful women, isn't he? He's surrounded by very attractive women. Oh, but he's never seen a woman, guys. He's never interacted with a woman. Here's learning the law. IGN is already insulting Stellar Blade and Eve's character, claiming it was made by someone who has never seen a woman. Well, the director is married. Here is her partner, IGN. I think someone is jelly. And you get the exact same post from IGN. Then you come over here. Here's the wife again. Huh. Yeah. All it is is somebody who's very jealous and does not like beautiful women within video games. That's one of the reasons Stellar Blade has this massive hype around it. Because for the first time in a very long time, we are getting a beautiful woman, a very attractive woman as the main character within a video game itself. And people are hyped. For once, we're getting a beautiful, attractive woman that is based on realistic expe expectations because she's a freaking model and a real life human. But you're getting a bunch of people coming out saying she's not, she's over exaggerated. She's not real. Nobody can look like that. The model exists. She's based off of an actual human. So uh, yes, people can look like that. But this is all a part of a ongoing push within video games, within Hollywood, within in every aspect of entertainment here in the West. They want ugly characters. They don't want you to have beautiful, attractive characters like Eve, wonderful characters, characters that make you love what you're playing. They want you to sit down there and play with characters like this. If you look at AAA gaming, beautiful women are the most marginalized and underrepresented segment of the market. And you just take a look at this whole list. Every character on here, some of which I didn't even know was a woman. I didn't know this from Rage was a woman. I thought that was a man for the longest time. All these are women. All these are characters from in video games that are ugly and disgusting and nobody wants to engage with them. But the first time in years, a very, very attractive woman in the form of Eve, you have everybody that on the left freaking out about it. You have game developers freaking out about it. You have people constantly saying, it's just over sexualized. It's, it's just Coomer use. No. It's people that like beautiful women. It's people that are happy that we have a beautiful, strong woman that doesn't look like one of these freaks for the first time in a long time. And that's what people are excited for. And I'm here for it. But 
I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it out, friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you guys all on the next one. Bye for now.